Hey, what's up? It's Mike, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can add schema to your Webflow blog. Uh, so this is for your articles that you'll be writing, and you wanna get more visibility. Uh, just try to be as attractive as possible in search engines. Uh, this is what you use, you use schema. And this kind of feeds off of a video I made last week on how to add schema to uh, product pages of your web shop. And so I'm just gonna walk you through how I do it and actually show you a tool that makes the process super, super simple. All right, so let's jump in. So just a reminder why schema is really cool to add to your own website or your client's websites is that you get more visibility in search engines like Google. So here, for example, we're looking at this. If, if I was to type in something like seven wonders of the world, there's some blog post that is being pulled out by Google and they're giving a bullet point list and they have this nice image. So that's just kind of stands out and I'm most likely gonna click on that as opposed to these, you know, this isn't probably a good one, but if I said, let's say Webflow uh, tutorials, let's see what pops up here. You can kind of see that these are just normal search results. So the idea is that you can really stand out. And so I'm gonna add it to my blog because I think it's really useful. And I found a super simple tool that makes the process easier and I will show you that right now. So here I'll leave the link, it's called Merkle. And Merkle just says schema markup generator. It's as simple as that. And let me just walk you through how to do it for a blog post. So here it's asking which schema markup would you like to create? So I just click there and you see the whole list of everything. So all the different categories, but I'll just choose article. And you can see it just has a lot of things and all you have to do is fill it out. And you'll see here on the right that it will start, something will start happening. So let's start doing this now. So article, so what I wanna do is just kinda to help kinda transfer this knowledge into Webflow and then I'll add it to the CMS. I'm just gonna fill out things here that are relevant to my blog post. So here article, uh, let's see, article type, it's a blog post. And what's the URL? So I'm just gonna put this and I'll go ahead and add that there. What's the, the headline is this and see I'm just copy pasting. Uh, image, so it's asking what is the image? So what I could do is I'll just put main image. I'm just gonna use this just to remind me and you'll see what I'm doing here. Author, so the author, I am a person and my name is, let's say, Michael Miello. Uh, I do not have an author URL on my own website, so I don't need that. Uh, let's see, publisher, don't need that as well. And then date published, so here you can just see date published and date modified. I'll just fill that out for now. So you see, as I was doing that, these things on the right are just kind of filling in, and all we need to do is just take this, and we just need to apply it to our blog post template. And we can put it in the head section uh, or right before the body uh, end tag and I'll do that right now. So I'm just going to copy and paste this. So copy and now let's go to the back end here. So I'm gonna to go to uh, blog post template. That's what I call it for me. And here, I'm gonna paste it here before the closing body tag, I'm just gonna paste it. And there it is. So what I've done is I've just pasted in the schema uh, for a blog post. The thing is, is that this is relevant to just one blog post, but we can use the dynamic content of our CSS to kind of make this work for every blog post that we have. So to do that, let's kind of, let's just go through here. So. So here, the JSON is, we're saying, okay, here, it's a schema type, it's a blog post, and let's see, right here. So this would be the URL of the blog post, so we wanna change that. So I'm just going to delete this and go to add field, and I'm going to choose slug, all right? So that's what, that's essentially what you would do. Oh, but I just remembered, it's not the, what I need to do is make it relevant to where it is on my own website. So let me change that. So it's going to be https com slash blog 
then slug. And I can push Command V. Oh, no, I can't. Uh, let me just put slug like that. All right. So there it is. So this is going to basically have this is the URL for every blog post. It's going to be like this. So now the headline, I just need to change that. So I will just go here and go to uh, name. So that's what I called it. Uh, the main image. So this is the image. So this is what shows up as uh, when I share on social media. I just chose just to have one simple image. So I'll go here and main image. Let's see. And then the rest here. So name, Michael Miello, that stays the same. Organization, that stays the same. And then date published and date modified. I can change that. So go here. So see date published here and date modified would be updated on, okay? And then once you do that, you basically click save and then you just have to publish your site and then you're good to go, all right? And then what you can do is you can always test it by going to those uh, testing, the schema testing. So I'll leave the links on where you can do that just to make sure that everything is running well. So with that, you've just now added schema to your blog post and that's gonna add some extra juice to hopefully get you more visibility in search engine results. All right, so I hope this was cool and I hope it was helpful and wish you a wonderful day.